everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I hope your quarantine's going well. Um, I'm just outside and actually enjoying some nice weather here in Canada for once with my doggos. Hey, with my doggies. Hey. Um, so I've had my saltwater tank set up for about a month now. So I did get some fish recently for it. So I'm gonna throw you back to that and just give you a little update on all the um, animals. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. What's up guys? So today I did something super exciting. I've been waiting a long time. Ah! I am so excited to put these beauties in. They're so cute, they're so cute. I'm gonna drip acclimate them and get them into the new aquarium. I just realized this bucket might be too big for the amount of water that's in the bag. What do I do? I need to put them in some... So I got a little bowl inside here because that was a fail. A few moments later... Marlin and Coral. One already has a pellet in their mouth right now. I am feeding these PE pellets. They're the Myesis shrimp. Myesis shrimp. I don't know how to say it. Myesis? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Just so you all know, when you have your rock structure the way you want it, make sure you never want to move it again because I made the worst mistake of my life and I push down the rocks more because you're supposed to put the rocks in before the sand and I didn't do that. Um, yeah, you can say I cried for two hours straight, had a mental breakdown because the rocks weren't going back the way they were. Um, I just lost it. I think the quarantine's getting to me and it was a lot of work, just so you all know. <laughs> Don't ever do it. But I do like the way it turned out anyways, but oh my, it was... It was a lot of work. Great, I'm gonna put more pellets in there. The snail is now eating. I walked over food that pellet. So I'm not sure if I actually ever showed my guppies, but recently um, I just noticed that there was two babies in there. Um, I did save them, but I tried to buy all male because I didn't want that happening, but I'm going to show you guys. This is my guppy tank. So pretty. That must be the female because the fin at the bottom, um, but he's a two little dudes. If my camera will focus, there you can see them. Now I do have them in this little tiny container that um, I bought for babies when um, we had babies upstairs in our other tank. But what do you guys think? Should I just put um, some plants on top like they suggest so they can go hide in there instead of this stupid thing? Because I really don't like this, but. Yeah, there's all my pretty guppies. So now I have four tanks in the house. My mom's not too happy, but. Oh well. 
all the geckos are moved on to one wall now. They're all doing awesome. Um, oh, you can see one right there. There's Draco. Hey, Draco. And I have been getting out of breeding, but I do have one egg that I found. Um, it was actually kind of half deflated, and I put it in here, and it reinflated. So hopefully it'll hatch out. But yeah, there's all the geckos doing just fine. This is Lincoln's new favorite spot, just chilling right here. And I just had her out not too long ago. Hi, girl. God, she's amazing. I love her so much. She just destroys her whole tank every time I fix it. Hey, are you an enclosure destroyer? But yeah, she's doing awesome. And here's my beta tank. Um, unfortunately, the light has, well, the white light has burnt out, so the yellow light's on, but I did order a new one, but it's going to take a while to come in because the lovely illness that's going on. But there's my beta. Oh, and my snail just fell. And I got some tetras in there and an albino pleco. And a cory catfish somewhere. There he is. And this is the 65-gallon looking awesome loving the fish in here um i do have one question for everybody what the heck do you guys do about this i'm gonna look it up after this but do about this i took this out scrubbed the crap out of it put it in and the next day we had this fur again like i don't understand look at this fatty you gotta see this fatty look at that grommy he is so big been like that forever so she's not pregnant she's just huge Now, I would eventually like to upgrade this to a 120 gallon, but, um, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I also added a new addition to the family. Um, before you show you guys, comment down below what you think it is. Just by looking at the tank. Give you a second. Okay. Okay, now this is not a gecko you get to handle, but... There's my beautiful Crimson Day Gecko. His name is Crimson. He's amazing. I love him. He's very curious. Um, he's out all the time during the day, hence Day, De day Gecko. Um, but yeah, he's awesome. Definitely not a gecko to handle. He is literally insane. Like if I put my hand in here, he gone. Oop. So yeah, that's Crimson, our day gecko, and he's upstairs because um, he enjoys the interaction and looking at things, so he is in our kitchen right now, but yeah. So I always get asked how easy it is to take care of um, geckos and the requirements, so I am going to do a video on that um, coming soon, so make sure you guys subscribe down below and make sure to like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!